Welcome back new and returning viewers. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you may be watching from. I just finished filming the Player Pick series introduction slash explainer. So head over to watch that if you've seen this video title and you're thinking what on earth is this? But either way, welcome to the first episode of Player Picks, the series where we talk about each of the Timbers 11 starting positions and pick who we want to see filling them. In this one, we're starting from the ground up and talking solely about the goalkeeper spot. The three named goalkeepers in the Timbers squad, as you probably know, are Jake Gleeson, Jeff Attenella, and Kendall McIntosh. Now, all three of these players got some game time in the Timbers preseason campaign in Tucson, Arizona, which is now finished. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, I apologize after my blunder a few weeks ago. But anyway, I've jotted down here the amount of game time that each of the goalkeepers got. Gleason was top with 270 minutes uh, featuring an all bar one game, played the whole 90 minutes in the most recent 3-2 win against Sporting Kansas City, and in my opinion, played very well. Antonella was middle with 105 minutes, um, and then McIntosh was last with 75 minutes. So from this game time, it's quite obvious to see that new head coach Gio is leaning towards starting Gleason on Sunday as he got more than double the game time in comparison to Atanella. And in all fairness, the team was getting the results in the four games Jake played in. They got two wins, one loss and one draw. As you may have noticed already, today I won't really be speaking a lot about Kendall McIntosh. He did get some game time this preseason, but I haven't really seen enough of him to do him justice in comparison to the other goalkeepers. And from what I've been hearing from other fans, it seems like he won't get a lot of game time in the first team this year, unless another primary keeper is injured. He is still young, however, only 24 years old, and many other fans think that he could be a starter in the future, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. With Atanella and Gleason, in my opinion, being the two top picks, I'm going to spend the rest of the video making somewhat of a comparison between the goalkeepers. One thing that I feel should be mentioned is that both of these keepers in their careers have failed to really make a consistent starting spot in an MLS side so far. Atanella has been in the shadow of RSL legend Nick Romando over the past few years until he made the switch to the Timbers last season, to only then be in the shadow of Jake Gleason for the majority of it. That was until Gleason got injured and then Jeff covered for him, but then played very well and earned a consistent starting spot until the end of the season. Speaking of last season, let's take a look at their stats as the defence they'll be behind this year will be primarily the same. Atanella last season played in a total of 16 games, including the playoffs, conceding 22 goals whilst achieving five shutouts and letting in, on average, 1.38 goals per game. On the other hand, Gleason played 21 games, conceded 30 goals and had four shutouts, and conceding, on average, 1.43 goals per game, a little bit higher than Atanella. Now, although these stats may seem very picky to some, I found them very interesting whilst doing the research to make this video. Um, let me, however, state that although stats are useful, they're not the be all and end all when it comes to football. How many times do you see a team dominate, but then not actually get the result that they want? And with goalkeepers, their stats can be affected by the players in front of them making personal mistakes or by the team being weakened by injury, therefore making the stats somewhat misleading. I'm just putting these last season stats out there as it's interesting to compare the two players when you think that this season they're going to have the same back line and service in front of them, uh, although be it with a new coach or some new coaches bringing in new tactics and new players. Again, I'm going to read the next bit here off my phone where I've got it in my notes as it's pretty lengthy and I just cannot remember it all and I'm on a rush to get to work. So let's look at the play styles of each player. In a nutshell, I see it like this. Atanella, good handling of the ball, especially when under pressure. Solid distribution, solid reflexes, solid shot stopping, and solid positioning. I hope you got the idea there, but I see Atanella as an all-round good, solid goalkeeper. Um, that towards the end of last season came into a weakened Timber side and all around and brought all around uh, top draw performances and composure, conceding only six in the last nine regular season games, helping us finish top of the Western Conference. On the other hand, I see Gleason like this. Okay at handling, but poor when under pressure. Okay distribution, outstanding reflexes and shot stopping, and okay positioning. Now, I may be being a little bit harsh on Gleason, but that's just how I see it at this current moment in time, that is. I felt last season too many times he made too many mistakes that cost us dearly. Because of the stats and how I feel the two goalkeepers compare to each other, I would personally want to see Atanella start 
over Gleason on Sunday. I just feel he provides a bit more stability in between the sticks than Gleason does. Don't get me wrong, Gleason is a fantastic shot stopper, but for me, it spreads nervousness when he has the ball or is coming to collect it specifically from set pieces. And believe me, when from my previous playing experience, you do not want that behind you if you are a midfielder or a defender, as it just spreads panic or creates panic and nervousness, uh, which leads to uncharacterized mistakes and therefore chances for the other team and ultimately conceding goals. So this may seem like I'm really bashing into Gleason that I need to give him a break, so I will. I actually really respect the guy. Uh, if you didn't know, he's been in the Timbers setup since he was 19 years old. He's now 27. And over the years, has either been on the bench, loaned out, or playing for T2. So he's absolutely deserved a consistent first team position. And last year, he was getting this until of his unfortunate injury. However, until I see improvements on the simple parts of his game, I'd have to pick Atanella over him. Let's not forget, like I said, Gleason is only 27, which is pretty young for a goalkeeper. Heck, Romando is 38 and still considered one of the best goalkeepers in the MLS. Uh, he still has time to improve on the weak parts of his game, but flip this on his head. Uh, and what worries me is the fact that he's gone through all of this professional playing time, you know, played over 100 games, and he still hasn't improved on what I feel the simple parts of his game. Or maybe he has. This preseason, he hasn't done too bad, and we'll have to wait and see. Um, but it's a difficult one for me. I do see potential in him, but for now, I feel like the solid choice and Atanella is my go-to guy. I hope Jake can prove me wrong, but we'll have to wait and see. I also put this player debate to a Twitter poll and got a total of 43 votes when I asked you guys the question of which goalkeeper out of the three you would like to see start on Sunday. So as you can see, Atanella led the way with 47% of the votes and Gleason was just trailing with 42% and then McIntosh with a respectful 11%. Now, I don't know if this video would have changed those voters' decisions or if what I've been saying agrees or disagrees with your decision, but be sure to let me know in the comments section below who you'd like to see start on Sunday and why. Either way, at the end of the day, whatever you or I think doesn't really matter as Gio and his coaching staff are the ones that get to see them every single day and make the final decision. Although I am opting for Atanella to start ahead of Gleason, I actually think in reality it will be the other way around. I think Gio will select Gleason over Atanella um, based on the recent performances in preseason and the game time that Gleason has been getting. And in all fairness, if he was to get the go-ahead over Atanella, I wouldn't be a two against the call, as I would like to see Gleason succeed, and maybe this year he can finally cement a Spurs team spot on a consistent basis at the Timbers. One last thing that I want to end on is this. Over the course of last season, I felt that fans, commentators, and broadcasters were too quick to blame goalkeepers when they conceded a goal. Let's not forget, there are 10 guys ahead of them that not only have the duty to attack, but also defend. Whether that's the striker or midfielder cutting the passing lanes or a defender pressing and forcing a mistake. Everyone on the field has a part to play in goals conceded. Not just the goalkeeper that conceded it. He should be used as a last resort to prevent a goal. Of course, a goalkeeper has to perform accordingly when called upon, but I personally always look at the plays before a goal to see how it could have been prevented. So that brings us to the end of today's video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Sorry it's a long one and sorry I read off my phone at the end there. There's just a lot to say. I couldn't really memorize it. I just wanted to get it out to you guys. But nonetheless, if you did enjoy it, leave a like um, and subscribe for more Timbers weekly content. And don't forget to comment below who you'd like to see start in goal on Sunday. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.